Well, two games down and one to go from Mankato. It's time for a hockey day first as two college men's teams are ready to tussle outdoors at Blakesley Stadium. St. Thomas, the new kids on the block taking on Minnesota State. or prime for a national championship run. Absolutely perfect conditions behind us. The flurries have started to fall. Glad you're with us for the 15th hockey day. And a shot is ricocheted. Tomey never got a mid on it. Man, the stick breaks for Amit, and here comes St. Thomas. Man, Amit with a big hit at center ice, taking away that chance for St. Thomas. Crowd's going bananas, and that's a great play by the captain. And they got Ferrandino down there that eventually jars it free. Then out in front of the net, Minnesota State scores it. David Silly on the backhand. The NHL guys can't go. And the second goal on the board for Minnesota State. It's Josh Grohl this time. Celia for a second time. That's one. Kevin, you talked about the dominance on the faceoff circle. Their last meeting. Good draw here by Celia. Quick little shot. But Celia goes to the net, doesn't stand there on the dot. That's the second time he's done a great job driving the middle, finding some open room, getting his stick free. Quick little one touch, drops to a knee from. Next man up. Uh, the pressure is unrelenting out of Minnesota State right now. Versich up there winning it back for St. Thomas. Cross ice and in for St. Thomas. They're on the board. A good start for the second period to get within one. Not often can you beat Dryden McKay, but Piowski did to cut the lead in half for, for St. Thomas. Yeah, we talked about it. It's, it's test Dryden McKay if you're on the Tommy's bench. Doesn't have a save in the first period. It's cold out there. They feels it back out. Anybody try to tug on it when you had it on the commercial <laughs> flight? Hey, give me that thing. Right. It was heavy. It was a goal. So a lead extender for Minnesota State. After Piowski got St. Thomas within one. Just past the midway point. They beat Tomey. It's a lot colder for that game, but everything's cold on a night like this when you're out here sitting around. Well, Borchardt puts one on Tommy and Minnesota State grabs another. It's Smith. Oh. Well, the first period, it, it was the third and fourth line for the Mavericks that got things going. I thought this top line, they struggled with the snow on the ice and figuring out how to play. Well, I think the second period, they've come out and simplified. They've gone to the front of the net. You heard Hastings coach him earlier on when he was mic'd up. Hey, make sure you got That spells trouble. The Florida guy is scoring in tropical Mankato on <laughs> Hockey Day. And another one on Tommy. Quick strike, three unanswered for Minnesota State. Well, this line's been, been working for the Mavericks. Their second line. Morton, Furry, Sandlin, big bodies on the four check. They haven't had a lot in the way of. of and obviously, they got on the board, so uh, there's no quit if you, as you talked about, Kevin, and uh, let's see how this last 20 plays out. Yeah, they're going to battle. It doesn't matter what the score says, they're going to battle. Well, and five hole on Tommy, and right off the jump, it was McNeely setting it up, and Sandlin got a piece of it on the back end to make it 6 1. Well, talking to Mike Hastings, McNeely, their NCAA record as well. And to add on to it, I think he wouldn't have. Well, loose puck out in front, and they test him right away. Minnesota State with a seventh on the power play. By Berger, and inside, five to go. Ticking away on a 7-1 win for Minnesota State. And Mankato did it well as a city. And Minnesota State did it well on the ice, winning it 7-1. Special day. Great effort by Minnesota State, but just fun to be a part of this one. Mother Nature, beautiful, fantastic game, great setting.